what is going on YouTube so today we're gonna make a very quick video uh, I want to show you how to flash operating system images onto the pine phone so after my first impressions my experience with the pine phone review the video uh, the last video that I published uh, I got some comments saying that some people don't actually know how to flash operating system images onto the pine phone and since it's quite an easy process but I understand that you gotta know what you're doing uh, I want to show you right now so first off we need some hardware so uh, we need an SD card um, regardless of uh, if we want to flash onto the EMMC or to an actual SD card to boot from that we do need an SD card so right here I have a well this is a SanDisk 64 gigabyte SD card you can use whatever and depending on what you need to do you can probably get away with something like 4 gigs or whatever uh, probably not for an operating system image I would suggest 16 gigabytes and above if you want to flash an operating system to that but for uh, flashing to the MMC you can get away with literally whatever uh, the next thing you need is well it's actually quite obvious uh, this is a an SD card reader um, it's just thing the plug into your computer so you have your micro SD card you have your uh, micro SD card reader you plug that in the right way probably and of course it's upside down so you, you slot that in and now you can read and write SD cards uh, with your PC uh, if you have a laptop chances are that you probably have a an SD card reader built in and you may have a like a regular size SD card reader if you do you can just use something like this they usually come with any micro SD card that you buy this is just an adapter to regular SD card so uh, if you have if you only have like a, a regular SD card reader you can just take the micro SD card slot it into the adapter like this there you go and then you have a regular size SD card that you can read and write just as any other normal SD card and in that case you can just use uh, your uh, big SD card only reader and just plug the old thing in like this and you're good to go so next thing you want to do is plug in uh, the reader into your PC all right it's plugged in and let's switch to the screen sharing here uh, now you need a piece of software to flash the actual SD card and now there are many ways to do this uh, on Linux in particular you can do this in so many ways but today I'm going to show you the very easiest option uh, so you're going to download this software it's open source it's called Balena Etcher so it's balena.io slash Etcher. I will leave a link in the description of course you just download it uh, for Linux it comes in a very handy app image so you don't have to install anything on your operating system you just download the app image and uh, open it up actually I'll move this file here then you have a zip file you extract it and inside you should find this app image file uh, now to open it up you just have to right click press some properties and then go to permissions and it's already there but if it's not you can you should enable this allow executing file as a program so the next thing you want to do is download an image for an actual operating system that you want to flash to the sd card and if you want to flash to and, and boot from the sd card it's just very easy just one step uh let's just go with that for now so i chose mobian here just I don't know the same goes for any operating system image you want flash on the pine phone uh, you just gonna download the image so uh, in this case I have to navigate to a file structures I'm gonna choose the pine phone and I'm gonna download huh I think image.gz should be the right one let's wait for you to download all right now that it's done downloading let me just move this in the same folder as etcher just for my personal convenience making this video the next thing we're going to do is uh, open up balena etcher so just run and you're going to see this little window right here and you have some options flash from file flash from url or, or clone drive uh, the easiest option really is to just go flash from file and then you just select this file we just downloaded image.gz should be fine shouldn't be any problem uh, even if it's a gz extension you can extract it beforehand but it shouldn't really matter you just press open you select a target so what this means is you select the drive that you want to flash 
this image to. So I have my internal drives here. Be very careful in this step. You don't want to select the wrong target here because if I just selected, I don't know, this thing here is SDA, I would just overwrite part of my system. This is uh, a, an internal uh, SATA drive that I have in my system. You do not want to select uh, your internal drives. And in fact, it shows a little uh, warning sign here. It says that this is large drive. Make sure it doesn't contain files that you want to keep. And it probably knows that it's an internal drive, uh, judging by the name and the size. So um, d just do not select the wrong target here. Just go ahead and select the um, the SD card. And in this case, it's generic storage root FS. It's called root FS because I had a, a another PinePhone image uh, on here previously. Doesn't really matter. Uh, you can judge what the SD card is by looking at the size. I know my SD card is 64 gigs and this is uh, right about 64 gigs. So I know this is the correct target. So just go ahead and select generic storage device, the 64 gigabyte SD card, press select and then press on flash. It's gonna ask you for your root password and it's gonna do its thing. It's gonna take a while depending on the size of the image they're trying to flash, but once it's done, you're good to go. You can just take the SD card, plug it into the Pine phone and it will just boot like that. I will not go through with the flashing here just because I don't really care for it right now. So I'm just gonna cancel. And you may ask, what if I want to flash, let's say Mobian in this case, but goes for any other, uh, Pine phone compatible image out there if I want to flash it on the internal EMMC then it's really quite easy you just need a another little image first so uh, this little image here is jump drive and you can get jump drive from github.com slash dreamers uh, I will leave a link in the description this isn't really easy uh, github.com slash dreamers two uh, e's and two r's uh, dash embedded slash jump drive so uh, you just go to the github page and go to installation uh, download the latest image here you press the link and you get to the github releases page you just download the latest uh, pine64 pine fun dot emg dot xz in this case image that you can find it's a very quick and small download so it's not gonna take a very long time you just go ahead and drag that right here next to etcher just again for convenience and then you open up etcher again you still need to have an sd card to flash jump drive on so i still have my 64 gigabyte sd card plugged in and i'm gonna go ahead and do flash from file choose the jump drive image, you see here pine64-pinephone.emg.xz, press open, you select the target, again, same thing as before, we select the SD card, press select, and then press flash. Again, it's gonna ask for the root password. It's flashing this really fast because it's a very small image. And we're done, we do have a bootable SD card containing jump drive. All right, now for flashing the image onto the actual PinePhone EMMC, we need to get our PinePhone first. So we're just gonna turn it off, it's turning off. And uh, while it's turning off, we can start removing the back cover. So we're just gonna do that. Once the back cover is removed, you take the SD card you just flashed and you want to eject that from your system. You take the SD card off of the computer. Uh, if you're using the adapter, of course, you will have to remove, to remove it first. So you're going to get our small SD card and put it into the Pine phone. Now, remember, we flashed jump drive to this. So this, is, this does not contain a proper operating system. It just contains jump drive. Go ahead and put that in. Wonderful. So it's in there. Now all you gotta do is I, I won't bother putting the back cover back on because I will need to remove the SD card once once this is all done. So I can just uh, plug the computer uh, to the Pine phone using a USB Type C cable like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. 
and then press the power button and you're gonna see this thing here. This is jump drive. What this is doing is exposing the Pine phone to your computer as a, uh, well, effectively as if it was another SD card. So you can just go ahead and flash your operating system image onto your Pine phone by just having it plugged into your computer by USB type C. So let's move back to screen sharing. If we close and reopen Etcher over here, let's say we wanna flash Mobian again to the uh, internal EMMC on the Pine phone. So we just select the file just like before. So Mobian, Pine phone, and then we uh, go ahead and select the target. And now we're gonna see a couple of new options. Jump drive EMMC and jump drive micro SD. This is the Pine phone effectively. Of course, what you wanna do now is uh, select jump drive EMC if you wanna flash to the EMC storage. If we flash to the SD card, and I don't know why jump drive exposes that, I guess it's gonna work, but it doesn't really make sense. Uh, if you wanna flash to the SD card, you can just use the SD card adapter in the first place. But anyway, you select jump drive EMC from this list, go ahead and select and press flash. I will not do that because I have a working operating system image on my Pine phone that I do not want to overwrite. So be careful because this will overwrite all of your data on the Pine phone. Uh, if you have anything important on a Pine phone, on the internal storage, it will be lost. So uh, make sure to do a proper backup before trying any of this. Anyway, once you're done, we selected the image, we selected as the target, jump drive, VMMC, we just press flash, and that's it. This is all you need to do to flash to the internal EMMC on the Pine phone. So once you're done flashing whatever you need to flash on the Pine phone, uh, you can just go ahead and turn it off. I'm just gonna hold the power button until it, it turns off. It's gonna take a couple of seconds. There you go, unplug it. You could just go ahead and remove the SD card. You put the battery back in, boot your Pine phone. It should just work. And there you go. It's booting up, of course. I didn't flash another opening system image. I'm still using uh, Arch. And this is basically all you need to do. Uh, personally, I think it's very easy. And particularly when compared to the hoops that you have to jump through, if you wanna flash anything on a, a regular Android phone. I think this is really, really easy. So anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, please make sure to press the thumbs up button down there. Also remember to subscribe to my channel for more of this. Maybe check out the original review of the Pine phone that I have on my channel. And thank you again very much for watching. I'll be seeing you in the next one.